it's been three months since the serious pollution on the River Kennet and Marlborough and these are the first fishery surveys since that pollution. The first thing we do is to put out the sock nets to keep the fish in the survey section. It's quite deep Tom. We used electrofishing to capture fish within the survey section that we've netted off. The fish are moved into large oxygenated tanks. In order that we can assess their condition, the fish are measured and then weighed. So we are 460. This is trout, yeah? Yep. 1091. Timanus, Timanus, they're called. They taste like thyme, apparently. But we, um, yeah. we, we encourage everyone to put them back on because there's so few walking around. Oh, I see. Compared to what we used to have. 82. Let's call it 823, this one. In there, Murray. In there, Murray. So, in addition to weighing and measuring the fish, we like to see what they've been eating. And here we found that there's lots of gamorous, so freshwater shrimp, and alderfly larvae. Enjoying yourself, isn't Yeah. The way I usually measure these is taking a picture of them and then measuring them on the computer later. So this is the biggest bullhead I've ever caught. It measures 105 mil. This is local river keeper John Hounslow releasing the fish safely back into the river. So tell me, tell me about the survey, what are the results like? I was talking to the guys today, they, they've got a really good range of species and, and particularly upstream here where there was no pollution, they're in really lovely condition and a, and a great uh, range of sizes including just this year's fish which shows that they spawned this season which is excellent. 